Some have been in wheelchairs for most of their lives. For others, it's been only a matter of months. But this summer, they'll all have the chance to forget, for a while at least, their physical limitations. And thanks to a new program, they could someday be able to pilot their own gliders. And when we pull up into the loop, we pull four Gs. So what I'm saying is you will weigh four times what you normally weigh. If you thought rehab for quadriplegic was all about endless repetitive therapy in a clinic, check this out. We're going to uh, uh, fool around, let you fly the glider. For the first time, these people are about to find a piece of that freedom that was so tragically stolen from them. I used to do lots of heli falling. So I used to fly a helicopter every day or fly in a helicopter every day. Then just this yep. January, a logging accident ended his dreams of just about everything. Dan's life took a complete 180-degree turn. Why are you taking a cell phone with you? To phone my wife when I'm in the air. He had even taken some flying lessons prior to the accident, but any chance of flying again was out of the question, or so he thought. Oh, the rec therapist was looking for volunteers. It took me about half a second to volunteer for this. Close. And why half a second? Because I'm adrenaline chunky. Through the Sam Sullivan Foundation, this summer, some 40 quadra and paraplegics will take to the skies in a program aimed at one day allowing the disabled to modify a glider for hand control use only and get at least some of these would-be pilots flying solo. And, uh, Show me how you work that stick there. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Okay. Able-bodied people do it. And the whole point of the organizations that Sam initiated is if able body or people are doing it, why can't people with disabilities? I got the blood pumping through my veins right now, and it's, it's real sweet. It's real sweet. I'm really, really grateful. All out. Go, Sam! Go, Sam! Woo! <laughs> oh, he's loving so it. So awesome for him. Yeah. He can use this. He needs it. I think he's had a bad week, and he could really use a good time up in the air, and he is so so. So one by one, they slip the surly bonds of earth and dance the skies on laughter silvered wings. And of course, make a call to the wife. Now, this is incredible, honey. Oh, awesome, awesome. You couldn't chisel the grin off my face. I love you, honey. Aerobatics are optional, but invariably, when asked if they want to see the world upside down, the answer is the same. So you want to do that loop? Absolutely. All right, we're going to go down the other end. Without a doubt. You're going to get very heavy. That's okay. Hang on tight. I'm hanging on, man. All right. The flights last 30 to 45 minutes, way too short by most accounts, because this is far more than just physically liberating. You know, it's 100% freedom. The last thing I think about when I'm up there is that I'm a quadriplegic. It's, it's a really a privilege, and I really enjoy it, because uh, every now and then, you know, you hear other people whining and complaining and uh, about life or whatever and the state of the world and everything, but every time I go out with these people, and go up and fly and they always enjoy it and they have a great time and they come down and they're not afraid to tell me hey ray i had a terrific time those are happy spasms yeah. by the way. <laughs> as hard as one may have thought it would be to get a quadriplegic up in the air in fact as it turns out it would be harder to get them down uh dan requests a second one stand by we're going to do another one all righty here we go again Wow. <laughs> Tonight, we'd like to introduce you to five-year-old Jeevan Basil.